Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I kind of like wanted to discuss a very important topic with a very special guest, my dog, Mylar. Um, I wanted to kind of like talk a little bit more about my journey and how was I able to kind of like fly him from Singapore to Toronto. So I hope that this information could help like future pet owners, pet parents that are kind of like looking through um, flying their dog somewhere else to another country. So let's get started. So I came up with a couple of topics that I think is going to be helpful for you guys on how you can travel with your pet, any tips I have, how was kind of like my journey because when I was like researching on how to kind of fly my pet from Singapore to Toronto there were really a lot of helpful um, resources that I looked through however I feel that I haven't really kind of like watch any videos where people share their experience on how they flew their dogs so i hope this information could help you in the future so i have all my notes in my ipad so i'm probably just going to read them out and go through like the different topics and how is it so the first thing i could think about is you need to think about the requirements from both countries so for my love itself, I flew him from Singapore, so I had to go through um, AVA. So AVA is basically the government um, body that takes care of exporting animals, importing animals, and stuff like that. So if you are flying your pet from Singapore, you can go through the AVA website. You can just go through the tab. I'll link all the links below. You can go through the exporting your pet tab and they would have like a whole list of steps and documents that you have to prepare before you kind of like export your dog somewhere else. So that's the first step that I would do. The second step would be to check the requirements to the country that you're bringing your dog to. So for my list case, um, I checked the Canadian something something. I will link, I'll put the website here as well. So I checked the requirements on their side. I called um, the people themselves as well on just to double check the requirements and documents that needed for that. So for Singapore, basically you would need an export license um, you can get this from ABA. You can definitely apply on that online. You need to get the vaccination record. So you need to get this from the vet your dog is and a health cert. So this is to kind of like certify that your dog is fit to fly. He has no conditions that would be kind of like dangerous for him when he flies and stuff like that. So in Canada, Surprisingly, it was very easy. They just required a health certificate um, and the vaccination record. So I wouldn't say that it was difficult to prepare documents. It would just be kind of like time consuming, I would, I would say, like in Singapore's part. So that's why. So you need to check the first is you need to check the requirements from the country that you're bringing him from and country you're bringing him to that's one second step is you have to think about i think this is the most important as well as to think about how you're going to be flying with your dog so at first i wanted to fly him in in cabin with us with inside the plane itself however milo is a small dog he is around 11 pounds give or take he's probably around six seven kg right now so he's around that range but a lot of the airlines um requires a certain dimension which is smaller than his size itself so i couldn't fly him in cabin but there were a lot of airlines that allows that like for example air canada i think british airways Delta Airlines and other airlines like that, they do allow in cabin um, for dogs. So I chose to flew Milo through cargo. Now, this is something specifically that 
you have to think um, on your own your preference and what you think would be better for dogs so Milo if he is considered a snub nose dogs meaning you know in the air or whatever it might be difficult for them to kind of like breathe so for some airlines I know that they kind of like ban dogs from flying at all or for some airlines they have a specific requirement in terms of the different weather so the cargo that I've chosen for Milo was very nice um, I flew in through via Lufthansa and they were really good and they were one of the best I would say in terms of like flying your pet just because first um, the staff was really friendly to help us through the documentation and everything like that second Lufthansa has a pet lounge so I flew him in in Singapore and he had a layover in Frankfurt Germany so the layover is where the pet lounge is so basically what they do is they bathe your pet they feed them they let your dog pee and everything like that and they take pictures and also send that to you so that's one thing I really liked about Lufthansa so that's one thing you have to personally think about is how are you going to be flying your dog is it going to be cargo or in cabin so that's it so my tips in terms of like flying your dog what to do and stuff like that firstly i would say on the day that you're going to be flying your dog make sure that you have all the documents in hand so i had all the documents in a nice folder i scanned all the documents i saved it in my computer i saved it in my usb and i made sure that i had copy whenever i need it even without internet so i've saved that through my phone and my MacBook, just in case they need to proof i can definitely just take out take it out and show it to the officer or anyone who would require it Second thing is that you need to get a proper crate. So I'm gonna be showing you a picture of what crate I got from Milo. I definitely got him a crate that's bigger, almost like three times or twice his size, just because I want him to feel comfortable and at the same time, not too big, but comfy and he wouldn't feel very nervous and stuff and left like that. So yeah, so my next tip would be to kind of like treat or test not treat practice your dog to be in his crate so for Milo's case one week before he flew in which I think was not enough I kind of like trained him to be in the crate left him there for five hours four to five hours feed him treats in the crate just to make sure that this is a safe haven for him so on the fly day itself your dog will not feel like he is nervous or anything like that so that's my number one tip on terms of that um next is would be to relax and get prepared everything will be all right um that's what i was telling myself but of course it really depends on your experience um one thing i would say is to research thoroughly research what airline you're going to be flying in also you need to be flying or you need to be arriving before your dog does just because you don't know or when your dog arrives and no one picks up the dog that's going to be a problem so what we did is we made sure that we flew in i mean or we arrived i think it was around four hours before milo arrived so when he arrived we already were there to pick him up and stuff like that so yeah my experience was basically when we flew in there come on. <laughs> when we flew in there we kind of just went to the Lufthansa cargo area and then we were able to fill in the documents and that's it we were able to pay the fees that was needed and we got him it was very difficult process it was nerve-wracking I'm not gonna be you know lying on that part it was very difficult because i was constantly thinking about milo all the time in the flight i was thinking if it's going to be all right in the cargo area or how is it um i've heard a lot of stories 
about dog that had problem in the cargo and stuff like that um i'm just very lucky that lufthansa you know did a great job they even sent me a picture when he arrived in germany so um pretty happy with that so it's really helpful that you find you know a cargo provider or airline that will work with you and constantly communicate through the entire tip so yeah that's basically my tips and my experience on how was i able to bring my job if you have any questions or anything like that i'll be happy to kind of like answer all your questions on the comment below um feel free to send pictures of your dog or share any experience you had with any airlines or anything like that so i hope i was able to kind of like help future pet parents who are moving their dog i know um, it was very difficult for me when I was doing that because I didn't really have anyone to I had friends who had the same experiences however I wasn't really able to watch alright thanks for watching guys and I hope that this was very informational I'll see you next time bye